We are back in Urban Upgrade where things are getting exciting. Our main components have been delivered. Our buddy Frankie down at London Drugs helped us to decide what TV and what sound system we want for our dream system here in our condo. Now we've chosen a 42 inch plasma display and a Blu-ray home theater in a box as the core components for our system. They're both actually from Panasonic. Now the homeowners decided not to wall mount the display, but instead they went out and got this really nice piece of furniture that fits in the overall feel of their apartment. Now that I got the TV out of the box, I want to talk to you about component inputs and all of the different pieces that we want to connect to the TV. Because you have to make sure when you purchase a TV that you have enough inputs for all of the different peripherals that you want to connect. This Panasonic has two HDMI inputs in the back. HDMI allows uncompressed audio and video and it's going to be the cable that we use to connect from our Blu-ray home theater in a box. It'll also be what we'll use to connect from our high definition cable or satellite system. Any high definition source, including gaming systems, is going to go over HDMI. It also has an old-fashioned cable connection and a tuner built in if you happen to want to watch regular TV on this display. We're not going to set it up that way. And then we have our component input. This allows us to connect our legacy systems, things like our old VCRs or DVD players that we might want to connect. We can connect through the component system and we can also record out onto VCR and videotape if you choose to do that using this as well. So those are our permanent connections in the back. Think about if we had wall mounted this, you wouldn't want to be messing around plugging in, unplugging, but you still might want to occasionally plug something else in. In that case, we have these connections here in the front that allow temporary and more convenient plugging in. We have an S video, regular video, and left and right audio that allows us to plug in. Usually we're going to use this for a camcorder. Somebody's videotaped a birthday party, you're going to be able to view it on your big screen right away. It also has another HDMI connection, so if a friend brings by a gaming system, you can plug in, play for a little while, they can take it away, and you don't have to mess around in the back. It also has an SD card slot allowing you to plug in and look at pictures directly from your digital camera. The TV's all ready to go. Next up, I have to start configuring the sound system.